I would like to introduce Dinesh with Planeteer, who wants to ask you if you've eaten your spoon today. So I'll pass it off to Dinesh. Hi, thanks, Claire, for such a kind introduction. First, I would like to start with a question. What a few minutes of convenience can lead to? By 2050, there's more plastic than fish in the ocean by weight. A, 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 sim a, a simple trivia. Can you guess how much microplastics a human consumes per week on average? It's a homework for you. I'm gonna paste the answer later in the chat window. The urgent need. The problem started uh, a lo long ago. And actually, once my beautiful son and my daughter were born, about two years ago, a question came into mind. What future are we leaving them behind? And also, as an engineer by background, what problem am I solving? So I decided I need to secure and preserve the nature for my son and my daughter, and also for the next, all the generation, future generations. So we innovated, invented, incredible. Incredible reinvents the way we eat our food by replacing single use plastic cutlery with edible cutlery. On the left is our flavorless spoon with the tomato soup. Why edible? Did you know that only 15% of the entire plastic that got manufactured since 1907 uh, got recycled, the rest of them are still in the oceans or in the nature. And what about the PLA-based biodegradable compostable cutlery? Even that doesn't fit the bill because only 9% of them are being composted correctly. In the sense, there's very, very, very few sorting facilities and recycling facilities, and it's been a huge challenge. And hence, after a lot of hard work, we invented edible cutlery. It can be consumed in minutes or it can compost in days. Hey, why not? Why just stop at reducing plastic? We can do more than that. So even though it's just a two-year-old startup, each spoon eaten, we contribute towards reducing single-use plastic and thus making it better in oceans and better nature. We plant more trees, but being carbon negative for better climate. And we also upcycle the waste of the factory to provide uh, baked biscuits to stray and livestock feed, which are for contributing to animal welfare. And better yet, we also provide employment opportunities, full-time employment opportunities for people who are living under $4 a day doing economic justice. So we are doing four times the impact just for, one sp for, for, for you eating one spoon. Now let's get into the product. Our spoons are vegan. They have one gram of protein per spoon. They're made with non-GM whole grains like wheat, oat, brown rice, chickpea, and corn. And they come in two shapes and fun flavors. On the left is our black pepper spoon, on the right is our chocolate spoon. And the most asked question to us was, how long do they last? Yes, they last hard enough for 25 minutes in hot food. So you can eat your soups and rice bowls and about 45 minutes in cold deserts. So imagine eating your next ice cream with an edible spoon. Don't use a plastic spoon. And we fit beautifully well with both B2B and B2C markets. On the B2B side, we're also have, we had good traction with functional food, large gatherings like stadiums, theme parks, zoos and aquariums, on, and campus and university dining to cater the next generation needs. On the B2C supplies, these spoons can actually give an uptick to your ice cream and soup aisles because people want to try this out with something. And also it fits in the party, party supplies and picnic and hike supplies. Our revolution, we on 2017 is when we decided to on the mission to preserve the planet. And after two years and 83 trials, we invented the machine. Me and my partner, Kruvil, we are engineers by background, and we figured out how to make a machine that can make an edible cutlery. And 2019 is when we introduced the product, and we have been doing pretty good. We are happy to let you know that by end of 2020, we successfully reduced 1 million single-use plastic spoons. And just spoons are just the beginning. In 2021, we're going big in multiple B2B and B2C markets, and our goal is by 2025, to reduce 100 million single-use plastic utensils. And did you know that's just one day of consumption in the US? And trade shows agree with us. We got a lot of awards in 2019 and 20. We thank our, we thank our trade show people and the people who, who voted for us. And can you guess what's common between Billie Eilish and haagen -Dazs? Yes, that's our spoons. So Billie Eilish is a fan of a product. She introduced us to Live Nation. We got introduced to some concert halls and we were doing very good traction with B2B for Nestle, Baskin Robbins, Ben & Jerry's, but unfortunately because of COVID, everything is put on a pause and hence we moved to retail. We spent six weekends, me and my two cousins, computer grads, we designed our own packaging. We read six books on how to package the design and you can see that uh, a fun fact of an aquatic animal on each and every box. And these animals are most affected by plastic in the oceans. And we have four SKUs live on Amazon and we're doing pretty good. Just two months ago, we started this. 
and we are going big on the retail side. And spoons are just the beginning. We are working on straws, forks, and other fun shapes because we want to reduce all single use of plastic as much as we can. And this is our team. I really thank my wife for letting me sell my home. We sold our home to fund our facility and to fund our business for the first two years in the Bay Area. And she then killed me for that. And, and our, our sales champ is Jack and my manufacturing card was Cruel. And our ask is about $500,000 on a convertible note, most of it to reduce the cogs and as well as, well as hiring industry professionals and for marketing and research. Now, did you eat your spoon today? Thank you. Amazing. Thank you so much, Dinesh. That was really that was really great. I can't think of a better way to reduce plastic than to make something delicious that you Thank can you. that you can eat. Hi, Dinesh. Great presentation. Um, Thank you. I was eating your spoon. Um, I think this is the chocolate one, and it's actually yes. really good. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I'm curious if you could say a little bit more, maybe without divulging um, IP necessarily, but just about the manufacturing process, because to make something like this out of grains feels like it's a really like energy intensive kind of process. And so in terms of just life cycle analysis, I mean, mm -hmm. you have other really great impact. I just wonder about the manufacturing. Of the product. So basically, um, we, we, we innovated a, a mold, which is small enough and it can be baked very quickly. So it's like super fast baking. And we, we use electrical electricity generated from solar sources only. So we took care of that in that aspect of it. We can do much better, but as of now, the machines are in such a way that for each day we can make about 50,000 spoons. So, and without using too much of electricity. So that's what we came up across with. And it's more like compression molding and baking. That's our process on, 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 a, on a brief actually. I just want to say that was an amazing pitch. I love the hustle. I mean, selling your house, talk about commitment. Um, and uh, I, I love that you're partnered with folks like Live Nation. I have a portfolio company that works with them as well. Uh, given how COVID has changed the world, can you talk about the biggest use cases right now? Because I would imagine, you know, at home, I don't need one of these spoons. Uh, out of home, it would be perfect. But can you just talk about how that's changing and how you see the next couple of years? Yeah, great question again. And uh, I completely agree with you. We are only uh, tr uh, re trying to replace single use plastic and we are proponents towards, I mean, we are actually support people who want to use reusable plastic or reusable stainless steel. Uh, right now, uh, the the only, the, the few use cases that we can think of is basically when you're go stepping out, taking out to take out foods or if you're going out to just grab an ice cream, right? So I want you to take the spoon with you. And uh, COVID is a pretty tricky time. Right now, it's mostly for people to want to try this product out. But after the COVID, I want everyone to go to the ice cream shop and say, hey, I know this product, you better take this. Don't start using plastic spoon. So it is more like an awareness time for me. I'm going to utilize that. And I'm doing R&D a lot right now. More than sales, I'm working working a lot to make it much cheaper and produce at least 2 million, 2 million plastic cutlery per month. Sorry, it's doing edible cutlery per month. I don't know how we're doing on time, but can you talk a little bit about your supply chain? Um, yeah, so basically right now the factory is in India, but it's just a starting point. Um, and as we grow and as we automate more, we will uh, we will start making uh, more facilities across the world. Uh, and right now I'm shipping using uh, a, a freight forwarder, which is carbon negative as well. So I'm trying to take care each and every stage wherever I'm trying to uh, like compensate the the, the the footprint that I, I'm going to make. Fantastic. So in the end, I, do, I want to, I want the consumers to be happy that they're not making contributing to anything else. Thanks so much, Dinesh. Thank you so much. That's that's really awesome.